Hello Internet and welcome back to our Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead series. Now in the last episode we had a bit of an issue. We played for about 35 minutes and then we had a crash. So essentially everything that we did in the last episode was just a huge waste of my time and we did not actually get to save any of that progress. So we're going to jump back into it here. Hello Internet, welcome back. Um, yeah, let's just dive into things, shall we? I don't really remember what we were doing. Uh, we are tired. I had said previously about dragging a chair or sofa into the darkness to sleep underground. I actually don't think we're going to do that. I think what we will do is make a trip back to base. Number one, this will break up the monotony of cleaning out the lab. And number two, we have found some things which we can haul back to base. That would um, save us from having to make multiple trips later on once we've piled up a lot of loot. So I think just taking some of this stuff. Plus, we did remember that we kind of forgot a few things, a few more pieces of medication, some more uh, food, maybe. Uh, definitely, we should. You know, I don't know if it's worth doing right this second, but we should go back to some of those military helipads and clear out some turrets for ammunition. Um, they are quite far away. So we are kind of here is where our base is nearest military helipad i don't think they're up here i think they were all the way back through this other town uh do to do to do all the way oh no this is not the map am i remembering the wrong game where so we're here we did drive through this town previously we came up this way but i thought we came up from the south i guess we did so we came up from this way Oh, through this town? Oh, why is everything blacked out? Okay. I don't fully understand. I guess we came over this way through and and whatnot. I, I, I really don't know. The military helipad is way over here. We've seen other ones. Man, it's been a while since we've uh, looked around the map. So let's see what else, where else we have some. Okay, there's some here. This looks to be... If we exit this, does it close? Yeah, okay, that's that's fantastic. God forbid I want to look where the military helipad is at. Um, so it looks like it may be just up north here. It is. So we could potentially just go north. It's a lot closer to where we are now than backtracking through those major cities. Doesn't look like we can come across here. Well, actually, we may. It just depends on what this terrain looks like. That would be much, much faster we could make a trip for some bullets that would shake things up a bit um but really regardless uh, we need to pick up some additional things that we kind of forgot and left behind i'd like to make more bandages i'd like to pick up some more heavy duty medications i believe we have codeine but not a lot of codeine i think it's in our inventory do to do to do okay we have a fair bit of codeine more than we are ever going to use uh in this lab to be honest let's drop a lot of this stuff um since we know we're going to be sorting these piles eventually, is this our book pile? It looks like it is. So we'll go ahead and just drop these books. I mean, no, let's drop them on our, our, our pile that we know we're going to take with us. That way we don't end up forgetting anything. And I'm going to keep those bandages. I'm going to keep that codeine for an emergency. Don't need the safety goggles. We really do need a few more light batteries, but it's not super significant. And honestly, I could really do with some more grenades. And I know that that's something that's a little bit harder to target. We can't exactly find grenades all over the place. We we saw previously, if we actually go back to the map, sorry, I don't know if this is boring. The nat, what was the base? Not the National Guard camp, the FEMA camp. There were tons and tons of military zombies there. Again, this is very far away. This is way back kind of where we started. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, no, no. This is to the north. This is a lot easier to get to than some of the other ones. There are a ton of soldier zombies here. Now, it would be extremely dangerous to clear this area out. It's very tightly packed. Using a vehicle is tricky because of the surrounding forest tiles. Um, and there were some vehicles on the road here, I believe. But if we could just, like, run down like 40 military zombies we would come away with a few extra grenades i could really i'd feel a lot more comfortable if we had more than one grenade no real margin of error when you when you only have one let's reload our, our magazines while we're here you reload 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 should be full up great we do have plenty of rounds i mean it just with the density in this uh science lab it's been so tricky to actually get anywhere Oh, that's right. Okay, so in the previous episode, we discovered that we had not actually killed the shocker or the uh, smoker brute. So there's a smoker brute lingering in here somewhere. 
We also remember we got our throat slit by a <laughs> Night Stalker zombie or whatever that's called. Was it a Night Stalker? There's a serial killer that was called the Night Stalker. I don't remember who that was. Um, so we, we need to be mindful of that. So we do have a little bit of uh, kind of gamey knowledge because we had crashed and we had already done this. So let's just push up. Hopefully we see a... Sh In fact, let's pop off around. We'll shoot one of these lights. Oh, we're on full auto. Great. Just wasted a bunch of bullets. So that should draw the Ashen Brawler over here. We may or may not be able to get a shot off. That's just not good enough. Yeah, let's just keep aiming and hope he steps back out, which he did. So that should be a good hit, and we, we put him down. That was a very loud explosion. We're going to fall back because of our exposure to the smoke, and we're going to get our stamina back. So we took care of that guy. Um, we are tired. We Honestly, we should head straight back to the base now. But I'd like to loot just a little bit more so that it makes more sense to make a loot run back to base. Really hate this smoke, by the way. It's going to take a minute here. All right. So yeah, we had some crashes. Honestly, internet, the, the, the content has been pretty bad lately and I wanna apologize. Oh, I'm on the wrong sound pack, aren't I? I was do I made a uh, sound pack tutorial video and I bet I have the wrong sound pack. I sure do. We don't want ats. I like chest hole. I know that that's, um, a lot of people use the ats and uh, coag sound pack and I had switched over to illustrate why I use chest hole, which is the heartbeat sound for stamina loss is the main reason I use chest hole and uh, at's sound pack actually has um, heavy breathing sound, which I find a lot harder to, to hear in the moment. So I wanted to illustrate that in a tutorial video. So I, I am working on my tutorial stuff, internet. It's just very slow going. I actually made two of them last week, um, a video talking about tile sets and a video talking about sound packs and how to install them and uh, which ones I recommend, things like that. It's it's slow going with the tutorial series. I actually took a break from the tutorial con. That is still the ass sound pack. Yeah, that's not chest hole. Why um. Why is it still why is it still the ass sound pack? It's it says it's chest hole. Let's disable it for a second, save that, move around for a second, smash, no sound. Let's re-enable, go down, maybe that'll, maybe that'll fix it. Okay, smash something. Nope, still the wrong tile set, or the sound pack. So I don't know why that is happening. Um, oh, and I can hear my stamina breathing sound. I'll turn this up in my audio. So you can hear that breathing sound. That is what I really, really dislike about these packs is that this is barely audible. What you're hearing right now, I've cranked this up to like, I don't know, way more decibels than it actually is in the game so that you can hear it. And uh, that's terrible, I think, uh, as a sound because you just can't hear it. So that's disappointing. I will, I guess, um, go delete that sound pack when I'm uh, between episodes here to remove that because I, I really rely on chest hole. So we have this locked door, and I'm wondering what's behind here because I bet it's something valuable. So we might just go back and get our jackhammer and come on up here since we've cleared a lot of the enemies. Caustic, soldier. Oh, I never got to pulp you. Oh, I remember we killed... Oh, this is a different one because it's fully healed. I was going to say we killed one up here, and I don't think we ever destroyed the body because we got distracted with grenading ourselves. So let's... um. Can we shoot through that glass wall? I wonder what kind of glass it is. Let's wait till we get good aim. Oh, well now you're in the wall. Is that gonna impact the wall? I don't think so. Oh boy, you really did not take very many, very much damage from that. That's concerning. Um, thankfully, I think the caustics, I don't think they spit or anything. I think they just barf. So he has to get into melee range before he can do any damage to us. Wow, you're you're pretty tanky. Oh no, he he can shoot. Okay, what what do you have going on? The acid support zombie launches a hail of corrosive darts, uh, but none of them seem to target me or hurt me. So I'm wondering if that's like a because it's leaving acid behind. I'm wondering if this is acid splash from me shooting it or if it's darts kind of like like a porcupine just sort of launch out around it. I wonder. I'm not familiar with this enemy really, but you're dead. <laughs> 
so no no reason to be familiar with you. You are dead. So this is the other acidic zombie, um, which is a soldier. So we should definitely be checking these guys in case they have grenades. He has an IFAC on him, which we will take, of course. He's happy vest in bad condition, not really worth my time. Take the morphine as well. So I, I do want to point out, um, you'll see the morphine here is spawning in portions of one. Basically, every medication I've found lately has been spawning in one pill or one dose. Uh, I, I commented on this in the uh, Cataclysm Discord. And because it's the same way with ammunition, when I find ammunition in people's pockets now, it's usually one bullet. Um, and I was told that that's not intentional, that this is some sort of bug. But also no one else came forward to mention that they are having this issue. So all my bullets and all my, my medications seem to be spawning in single portions. I don't know what to make of that. I don't know how to fix it. It's obviously really horrible. Um, I thought it was intentional. I, I went on and was like, okay, this is ridiculous. What a terrible change this is. Um, because obviously people would carry more than one pill. In, like maybe, like if you ask my grandmother, I'm sure she has like a loose aspirin in her purse or something. But the average person, if they're going to carry medications, they'll put them in a plastic bag. They'll take a handful with them. Things like that. Like I do that. I, I used to take antacids with me everywhere. I would have a little baggie of antacids um, or um, Tylenol ibuprofen. I'm going to dismember this acidic zombie. Is there another one in here? No. These are not corpses. These are just uh, smashed up toilets. Turlets. Uh, active paper. That's weird. Active usually means something's going to explode. So let's uh, get away from the explosive paper, I suppose. Check the other soldier zombie here. No grenade, unfortunately. More MREs, though. Uh, MREs are now tracked as a container item. I've seen a lot of people complaining about that uh, because I guess it adds more items to the process. So if you're trying to haul, for instance, a uh, MRE, it used to be a single item, but you'll see here in our inventory, this is all just from MREs. And you'll see how much of our, sp our inventory space is occupied by this. There's no way to collapse those items. So I've seen a lot of people complain about that. I don't have strong feelings about it. I think that it's uh, fine. It uses the new system, which I think is fine. But a lot of people on the Discord, at least, seemed very upset by that, uh, which I, I don't I don't fully understand. I get that it's annoying, but I also don't think it's as big a deal as people are making it out to be. We'll take a fully intact sheath with a combat knife, I guess. And uh, let's let's just check the area real quick because if there's a more army zombies, I kind of want to be aware of that. Before I bring my jackhammer up here, you'll see tons of st Oh, do you see what I see, internet? I see a CBM. It is, of course, the LED tattoo, because uh, if the game is going to give me a CBM, it's going to be the one of the least valuable CBMs in the game. Sorry, my neighbor's dog is yipping, and it's got my puppers upset. I also do see a Panacea, which is a, a great thing to find. That is the new cure-all in the game uh, that replaced kind of the... Or I think it's always been in the game... But it is the kind of royal jelly effect that everyone was familiar with before that was removed. Panacea still cures everything. So we could pop that pill now and get rid of this common cold. Frankly though, the common cold is only a minor irritation. It does make us much less capable in melee combat because of that negative three hit to our strength. But it's also not something to use such a valuable item on. The reality is though, I'm gonna pick up that panacea that it's gonna sit in my car for like the next, uh, well, basically until the end of the game because I'll never use it. So I'm not sure what happened over here or why there's just a CBM lying about. Um, obviously I've voiced my frustrations over the last few episodes with CBMs and the fact that the first one we finally find after all this time is an LED tattoo makes me a little psychotic and wanna burn the building down, but that's okay. We're gonna go get our jackhammer and pop into this metal door here. I, I'm curious what's behind there. It could be a CBM vault or a mutagen vault or some high value thing. So we're gonna come up here. We're gonna drop a lot of this stuff, uh, which we don't need. Obviously I don't need my, it's probably like my eighth entrenching tool, which I do not need. Drop all this stuff, of course, drop the MREs, drop the medications, drop the Water purification, oh, I guess those are from the uh, MREs as well. So again, you'll just see it's it's flooding my inventory with these variety of items that it is just uh, pretty frustrating to have that occupy. Why can't I disable you now? Okay, so I'm not sure if it's gonna drop all that properly. Okay, it did. 
it was uh, very stuttery there. It didn't want to let me drop those, I guess. So let's grab our jackhammer. Jackhammer. Oh, actually, hmm. It's a long trip where we would have to disarm ourselves because we'd have to carry the jackhammer. Let's haul it. Oh God, last time we hauled stuff, the game crashed. Are there corpses here? Kind of. Uh, I'm gonna save. I normally don't quick save in the middle of an episode. That way, if it does crash, we start back uh, at the start of the episode, but we'll go ahead and quick save. So hopefully we don't crash dragging items. I'm not sure what happened that caused that crash in the last episode. It literally closed the game. There was no message. Uh, it didn't even bring up the launcher. Normally when the game crashes, my launcher pops up on screen and it did not do that. It just uh, immediately shut off and went to, uh, I think I had like a, I don't remember what I had in the background. I had to blur it though, because I it was, it was something with personal. I think it was a file explorer, but it says my name because my user thing has my real name attached to it. I, I, I don't remember, but anyway, let's pull out this jackhammer and we're gonna just, uh, you know, hopefully nothing goes wrong here <laughs> is, is basically what it comes down to. Obviously not something we have control over. Um, sometimes crashes happen. What are you going to do? It is a frustrating thing. You know, it happens. I've just been a little frustrated lately. Um, you know, we talked about my frustrations with the game itself. And as someone who's pretty active in the community, and obviously I play the game a lot, uh, little things that kind of grate my nerves after a while, they build up to be bigger things. And I'm going through some financial issues in real life, trying to uh, buy a car. I'm having a lot of issues with um, just money and, and having my vehicle not work and things like that has really been stressing me out. And uh, then you add family stuff on top of that. Remember, my brother is dealing with uh, sort of waiting to go to prison for some criminal charges. And it's just been and then on top of that, my family is kind of just not there's some other stuff going on. And so I haven't been doing super well. And I, I can definitely tell I, I watched, I felt so bad. I watched my last three videos in editing because I knew they were bad. I knew I was in a bad mood. I knew they would be not good. And then I watched like a big chunk of them. And I was like, this is horrible. I'm embarrassed that I'm going to put this up on my channel. Hopefully the audience is cool with it. And I got a lot of dislikes on some of those videos. And I don't blame you for a second. Like I get it. You know, they were not my best, uh, not my best content. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to pull back from that. I'm not feeling any better. I'm not going to lie to you and pretend that I'm doing better. I'm not, I financially am just in a real rough spot. My vehicle is having a lot of issues. I am currently dealing with, oh, are these opaque if I close this? Okay, good. So that blocks vision. So we don't have to get interrupted constantly. We're gonna jackhammer, this may draw enemies. Obviously jackhammer is going to make a fair bit of noise. Yeah, finances are just uh, tough right now. And with that, I'm struggling a bit and I'm just not doing very well. Why can't I peek through this? It's a rebar cage. Oh, we did talk about that in the last episode. Someone said that they were going to add a rebar cage sprite. I'm not sure if this will always have this bottom color because you can't really see the cage. It's just really difficult to make out, especially at like my standard zoom level, which is this. Um, it just is a bit blends in with that background tile. So I don't know if this kind of gray ground cover is always what's under here. You know, obviously if this were soil underneath, it would be a lot more, um, it would differentiate them a little bit better. But hey, any sprite that gets added to the game, always, uh, always a good thing. So we're gonna need to break that down. Is it worth going in here? Was this worth my time? Acid? disposable battery tray so this has garbage in it but it's hidden by a locked metal door why why is this a locked metal door there's no other metal doors in here there are tons of supply rooms that we've seen that have these exact supplies in them that are open so what is the point of this being in a lot like like you would say like oh it's a storage room this is where they keep their stuff and they lock it so people can't get in well, that doesn't make sense when there's literally that stuff in every other room in this facility. So I just feel like I wasted time hauling this jackhammer up here. I, I don't see why this exists, but we're going to break in. Maybe there's something around the corner that we just can't see. Highly doubt it. Uh, I suspect that this has just been a waste of our time. So let's grab something to smash with. Give me a plank, I guess. Wheel the plank, smash the cage. You hear clang. Yeah, hate this sound pack, by the way. 
this is not my normal sounds. Oh, in fact, I'm out of stamina. I just can't hear the breathing sound. So let's uh, rest there. We'll smash this thing. Any second now, freaking rebar cage. There we go. Thank you kindly. We'll wait it out. Drop the plank. Pick up my gun. Uh, wield the gun. Yeah, nope. Just a uh, garbage room. Just a huge waste of time. Okay. Thanks for nothing. And honestly, now I have to take the jackhammer all the way back. Because if I leave it here, I'm going to forget about it. And then we're going to lose our jackhammer and I'm going to be pissed about that. <laughs> so we're going to take this back. What a waste of time. Yeah, internet. So obviously just uh, not been in the best mood. You were attacked by the security zombie. Yes. Hey, bud. You weren't anywhere close to me a minute ago. I'm gonna I'm gonna murder you real quick. If is that is that okay? I would love to kill the security guard and then fall back before this tough guy can get a hold of me. Nope, he's already grabbed me. Yep. Of course, we're gonna run back. We are bleeding now. Uh, we're not really concerned about HP, bro. You keep he literally he grabs me every time he comes in melee range. Why are you grabbing so frequently? I didn't think they could grab that uh, that rapidly one after another. We did get, by the way, a prone movement mode, which you'll see there. You lie down. Currently, I don't think it has a sprite here. Let's, uh, oh, what is this blue? What is this? What is that indicator? Oh, am I freezing to death? I'm chilly? Common cold, maybe? No, I doubt it's the cold, because you don't really need an indicator for a cold. Um, because it's like a long-term thing that you're going to be dealing with. And it's uh, currently alleviated by cough syrup. What, um, is it just chilly? But anyway, so we have sprint, which you can see the indicator there. Crouch, nope, it jumps from running to lying down. It's a bit strange. I don't know why it wouldn't go to crouching before it went to uh, laying down. But there's the crouching indicator, standing indicator, running, and then the prone does not currently have a tile set indicator. Now I did see people on Discord talking about this. So it looks like there will be an indicator for this. And I did also, when I, I, I did join the conversation, I, I said that I think the current coloring of the crouching indicator is a little bit difficult to see on things like asphalt. Obviously here with this um, kind of khaki tile, it's a lot easier to see, but you know, we struggle to see that sometimes when we're standing on asphalt. So yeah, we're gonna need to be mindful of that. Um, now that they've added a movement mode, I really don't understand why it goes from running to cr to lying down. It should probably be walk, run, crouch, lie down, or something like that. Uh, so we gotta be mindful of that so we don't accidentally toggle to, to being prone because obviously that would cause us a lot of problems. So we see more security. I'm gonna go ahead and pulp these guys and assume they're far enough away that we don't need to be concerned. I really, I have to say this again, I know we talk about it so much, um, but the absolute amount of monster density here is just absurd. The number of zombies we've already killed and how little of the lab we've actually explored at this point, it is extremely frustrating to constantly be dealing with this huge amount of monster density when the reality is there just would not be hundreds of people in this building at all at once. You know, there would be, uh, I, I just, I, it's not even that there's too many people to make sense because that is part of it, but it's just the amount, I, I, I don't know how to put into words what I feel, but it frustrates me a lot when I come to a location and there's just hundreds of zombies that I just don't feel like they belong there. And that is how I feel about this particular location. I, I feel like there are too many enemies for zero value and and i i'm someone who generally agrees like value and, mo and like difficulty and value don't have to be balanced like there can be locations in the game where there's no reward but there's a lot of work right like going to a hospital is a bad decision in this game generally because you can get everything you can get at a hospital somewhere else for a lot easier effort so what are you going to get out of a hospital? Well, really nothing. And not only are you really not going to get anything, but when you kind of clear it out and whatever, it's going to be just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of zombies. And in that situation, it makes perfect sense. It's a hospital. People would go there immediately upon there being any kind of apocalypse or dangerous situation. People are going to be in the hospital. So I heard a weird sound I, I'm not familiar with because again, 
So we saw this in the last episode as well. Using the bandage seems to take way too long because every time I try to apply a bandage, the bleeding goes away before I can even get the bandage on. And we did see that that's not really making sense. Remember, we saw it makes... Uh, it's listed as consuming for 15 seconds, but it's listed as using for three seconds. And then in reality, we timed it and it was like 30 seconds. So I don't know what's going on here, but it's very annoying and I, I wish someone would take a look at it. I have no idea how you would fix that, but that's an issue. But anyway, I have no issue with like monster dense locations, like a hospital, it makes perfect sense that there would be tons of enemies there because that's where all the people would die during an apocalypse and all that jazz. I just, it, it frustrates me. It's like the one thing, out, out of everything in the game, it's one of the things that bugs me the most is when I find a ton of monster density in a place that it just doesn't make sense. And I don't think it makes sense here. Where's my freaking jackhammer? Oh, it's on the next tile. I see. Jack. Jackhammer. There we go. Because I don't want to haul a, a pile of corpses with me. So that was a huge waste of our time, just like everything else uh, we found in this lab has been a huge waste of my time and, and a source of frustration for me. We're going to plunge back in for a little bit longer, and then we are going to uh, probably start heading back to base in the next episode. I don't know that we're going to do that in this episode. <sighs> anyway, yeah, frustrated internet, obviously. Uh, I think it's been coming through in the content. Uh, those of you who have stuck it out, I, I, I see I am still getting consistently... I don't know, 150 to 300 views on a video. That's quite a lot for me. You know, I've, I've spent the last two years getting 60 views maybe on a good day uh, for a lot of videos. So we're doing pretty well numbers wise. They they definitely bounced back a couple months ago. I had everything dropped like 25% or something, huge percentage. And we've recovered from that in a lot of ways. I did today. I posted my first uh, episode of Songs of Six, which uh, not doing super great uh for the first episode usually a lot of people will watch the first episode of a series to check it out and see what's interesting about it uh we were just doing the tutorial to be fair it's not like it was a super exciting video or anything but the numbers were a little a smidge low uh which is ultimately why by the way if you did not watch the uh, circadian dice series i played that for a couple of weeks it's a really fun game it's free and i encouraged everyone to check it out it's on itch.io for free um, or you can pay them if you want to. It's a great game. I, I recommend playing it. And uh, yeah, the numbers just weren't there. Uh, after a couple weeks, you know, we were down to getting like 19 views a video. It's really just not enough to justify the time expenditure. So thought we would try something new. Uh, I really should just be working on my tutorial series, but I was sort of waiting. Go ahead and hit me, bro. I need my bullets. Uh, go ahead and bite me, bro. I don't care. I've disinfected. Who cares? Um... <laughs> But anyway, oh, you tanked two rounds? Good for you. Usually you guys don't do that. My marksmanship increased to five, and uh, rifles will bump up here in a second as well. Um, Yeah, so like after a while, I, I mean, I really should just be focused on the tutorial series, but I was sort of waiting for this series to end and then just turn my attention, like all my normal cataclysm time to making the tutorial series. Just has been, this series has been lasting forever though. So we're on episode, uh, 88 so we've sank about 40 hours into this one playthrough and uh yeah just sort of uh chilling chilling songs of six seems really good i, I don't think people are going to watch it really uh it just seems a little minimalist for a lot of people people compare it to dwarf fortress to rim world uh what's the other one rise to ruin or something like that uh very commonly compared to those games so hey if those are things you like you should check out the series. By the time this goes up, there will probably be two episodes on the channel. I've recorded about 10 already because I do really like the game. More CBM data. Um, I did point out on Discord that this needs to be removed since scientists are no longer in the new lore are not working on CBMs. It doesn't make sense that they would have the installation data. So I did point that out. Someone said that they were going to take a look at that, but I guess they, I guess they did not um, because this was, I did update today. So uh, it would have been removed in this current playthrough here if that had been done. We're going to be a little cautious. I, I don't think there are turrets here, but I do want to be mindful of that. This wall, reinforced glass. I mean, it looks like you broke through it already. No, these were doors. So once again, a locked room. What is this? With a welder. What a huge, pointless room. I don't understand 
One, I don't understand why there's just a welder in a... Why? Why does this room exist? It's in a room with a bunch of terminals. Why is there a welder? Soldering iron, solder, that kind of stuff I would get. You know, maybe you're repairing terminals or something. Don't, don't understand a welder. And number two, why is it behind a locked metal door? It doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense. Um, a lot of these things, you know, I just feel like if somebody had taken a moment and been like, okay, let's make this layout make sense. I feel like it would be better than it is. I feel like it would be better than it is. I, I Someone told me Vortex devices are valuable. We saw one before. I don't understand what the point of it is. I don't think it has any use in the game. So I was very confused when someone said I should be picking those up. I just, I don't know what, I don't know why I would. Uh, again, I don't, I don't do chemistry in this game. I don't care about um, mutagen, which is the only reason to do chemistry. We just don't have enough value from chem Like what do you, oh, you can make your own batteries. Who cares? Like why, why would I do that? Uh, you can make your own welding gas. Well, why, why would I do that? You know, like the only chemistry recipe I care about is uh, making your own anesthetic is something that you could viably do at the end game if you were struggling to find anesthetic, which is great. Don't get me wrong. Okay, let's toggle to walking here, which is great. You know, go ahead and do that. Uh, but I just don't uh, I don't have any reason to do that. They nerfed CBMs to the point where I can't find any. So I, I really don't need to make my own anesthetic at the moment. And if we did, I would uh, put in some effort to grind up my chemistry and we would just come back and get whatever we needed so I just don't see much value to end game chemistry other than mutagen and that's just not for me so I don't know what to I don't know what to do people keep telling me to pick things up I, I don't know what like want and that too none of the ingredients are anything I'm familiar with like what do I need dimethyl sulfur sulfoxide for I have absolutely no idea so I'm just not going to be picking up most of this stuff Anyway, you know what? We're going to fall back. We're going to clear these couple enemies out. Looks like they are a little faster than us now. And that is due to our pain and things. So they are able to keep up with us pretty easily. We're going to wipe out that security zombie real quick as well. If you could just come around the corner. Man, they're really grabby lately. I did see that they changed bites to be a little bit different. I wonder if that also boosted their grab ability because I'm just getting grabbed left and right. That may also be due to our low speed or something. I'm not super aware of the numbers behind it, but definitely is something we're noticing. So let's fall back here. Again, we just have not found anything of value. I think we went this whole episode, we found like two books in uh, about 30 minutes of clearing this area. What did we find? Engineering 301, chemical reference. Yeah, Engineering 301 maybe has some good recipes. Uh, chemistry, I just don't care at all. So just not a lot of value here, uh, in my opinion. And honestly, if you're looking for a lab, I, I, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think Subway Labs are good. I, I just don't think that they're worth coming to unless you're specifically looking for chemistry equipment. If you're looking for chemistry equipment, it seems like a fantastic place to be. But other than that, I don't see any value here. We did see a single CBM laying out in the open. I don't understand why it's laying out in the open, but we will pick that up when we see it. And again, that is just the LED tattoo, which is not really a valuable CBM. So uh, yeah, just nothing. I guess we found some MREs, but we could easily have done that just by driving around the world and finding soldier zombies outside of the lab. So I don't, I don't know why you would come here. I don't know why people recommended I come here. I, I just don't really get it. For now, we're gonna call the episode. Hello, internet. Thank you for watching. Um, of course, I will be back with more in the near future. Happy to say this episode, we didn't freak out. I didn't yell about anything. I didn't curse at you. I didn't do anything. And uh, thank you for sticking it out to the end of the video. You're beautiful and wonderful as always. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you next time.